Okay, um, still with uh, sort of showing that, that what matri matrices are all about is, um, this is about jit.unpack. Uh, so we can take our jit.grab thing here and grab live images from the webcam. Uh, I just had to hit open here in QMetro to, to our jit.grab object at 320 by 240 resolution. These little guys are handy. This is called jit.fps GUI. So if you do jit.fps GUI, you get this little thing and it's like an inspector for jitter matrices. It's really useful. Right. And when you click on it, you can get lots of different kinds of information like frames per second, um, the type of, of uh, data that the matrix is, uh, the dimensions of it, the number of planes and its name. But so here I'm getting the frames per second. It says we're getting 33 frames per second. The data type is char, um, cause that's the default. Um, we're getting four planes of data out of jit.grab because it's a color camera. So mm -hmm. we're getting red, green, and blue planes plus an alpha channel. Um, and then what else could we look at? Uh, planes, we can like type. It's Sorry, I have that. Okay. Yeah, it's not connected, but, um, so this is a little FPS GUI thing. I use this constantly to figure out what is the actual data that's coming through these pipes. Um, and then we're going into jit.unpack and we're unpacking into, this is the normal color matrix here that's coming out of the grabber. But when we unpack it, it splits it out into its red, green, and blue constituent planes. So you can see here, I have a red folder and the red, the red plane is brighter mm -hmm. on that folder here. Uh, because the red plane contains the information about the red channel of information in the color image. So the red is going to be brighter. Um, you could pack these back together, jit.pack, uh, and back, just put them back together into a, uh, a single four plane matrix and that would work too. Right. But, okay. Any, what am I missing here? I don't, n nothing that we're not going to address later. Okay. Yeah. So. All right.